Gluten gets a really bad rap in the world of IBS. It's very common for patients with IBS to avoid gluten because they're concerned that it's causing their symptoms or causing inflammation in the digestive tract. And in some cases, like celiac disease, gluten is the problem. It can cause inflammation and damage to the GI tract. However, for most, that is not the case. In this study here, they took a group of 37 people who had IBS and believed that they were sensitive to to gluten, that gluten was causing their symptoms or worsening their symptoms. What they did is they first followed a low FODMAP diet for two weeks, and then they were randomized either to a high gluten diet, a low gluten high whey diet, or a control no gluten high whey diet. What they found is that the low FODMAP diet reduced symptoms across all groups um, significantly. And then regardless of which diet they returned to, whether it was high gluten, low gluten, or the high whey protein control diet, all symptoms worsened to the same degree. Only 8% of participants had symptoms specifically to gluten. So the takeaway, for most people, gluten is not causing their gut symptoms. And gluten-containing grains can be a great source of fiber that's really important for gut health. And so we don't want to have to restrict or avoid any foods unless it is truly causing harm.